everybody, I was thinking about doing some Athena gameplay today. Uh, yeah, she, she used to actually be really good in duel, um, just because of her passive. It was, it was really, really good in duel, and then, and then she just kind of fell out of the, she just kind of stopped being as good. I don't know what the reason was for, it just kind of seemed like a mixture of sustain and different reasons. Oh my god, it's Dizanami. I do not like Izanami. Sam hates Izanami. I hate Izanami. Okay. Alright. Anyways, her passive is what makes her good. Um, however, Iz Izanami's gonna shred through the passive on my one, which is... That sucks, but oh well. Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's use our one out of base. To get that reach. So we're gonna see how good Athena is right now. Uh, let's see... So I'm pretty much trying to go a build full power, full damage just for my passive. I want poly shots to do all of her health. Because my reach is 15% my power. Polynomicon's what? It's 65%? Uh, I don't remember what it is. It's changed so much over the years. I just know it's a lot. I'll have to check real quick what it is. So, you know, that adds up pretty fast. And you're using reach shots between each ability and the nice thing about athena is obviously her ult is useless that's not the nice thing uh, the nice thing is that since you can skip leveling her ult, her other abilities get super strong super fast i didn't clear the wave right there there's a better way to do it and i did not do that good amount of damage got her ages too you went ages, really. I pretty much get a free kill now. I just gotta get uh, level four. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh man, I'm close to killing her. I can't exactly yet. Bracer for 46 health, let's go. Man, I can't do it. I, I, it's like, it's close, but no, she clears a wave instantly. I have to recall. That kind of sucks, but better safe than sorry. Like, if, if I were to use my three, two, and auto attacks in between, that would kill her. However, I think I would die to her auto attacks before doing that, because using my three, two, I can't dodge her auto attacks at a close range. If I were to initiate with my, with my two and then my three, uh, that would be less damage, but but I would be able to dodge auto attacks. And part of me wanted to try that, but she was at a quarter health. I think she would have been okay. However, her Aegis being down still is huge. Sucks I wasted my Bracer. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I might be able to get red. We just gotta hurry. Her having her ultimate sucks, though. Okay, I got it. She still has her ultimate. Let's attack her. Nope. I wanted to attack her. That way I could get all the minions in my three. But now I can't. Which kind of sucks. And I've kind of noticed, one thing I wanted to try Athena, is I've noticed any Guardian with a some sort of escape seems to be doing actually pretty good. So, yeah, I just wanted to see about that. Now, at level 6, we are going to put one extra point in our 2. The reason for that is when we initiate with our 3-2 combo, that will allow us to hit the entire, the entire, what's the ability called? Shield wall. She's right there. And that's what we need. Wow, look at my look at my mana. Look how slow it regenerates. That is so slow. Alright, she's proxying my wave. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That's Diamond and Tsunamis. <clears throat> Izanami may not be top of the tier list, but man, she is one of the more annoying hunters to fight just because of how fast she clears her wave and how good her boxing is. And of obviously her escape as well is just pretty annoying. Like look, she's about to get tower already. We will need full cooldown, by the way. Where are you going? If I can use my 3-2 here, that would be great. 
Oh man, really? Oh, I triggered a little bit too early. If I had more points in my two, we would have been fine, I think. Well, I guess it, it, was, it wasn't the two, it was just more. She actually timed that pretty well. Oh, I didn't even, okay. That was weird, her health bar disappeared. I thought she backed and she didn't back. I would have dived there if, uh, if that didn't happen. <laughs> I thought she backed. I was like, oh, that was kind of a fast back, but no, it's just a, okay. Wow, she is greedy for this wave. Do you feel good about yourself? That was really greedy. I feel pretty good about that. Now we have desync dottos, our favorite thing in Smite. It makes the game weird. Oh, please don't stop my back. Please don't stop my back. Please don't stop my back. Oh my god. All right. Well, now we're committed. <laughs> that might be a good thing. It might be a good thing. She won't get tower in this case. However, it does mean that she gets red buff. What is she building into? Transcendence? Okay, okay. Get some more cooldown. We'll start working on a breastplate pretty soon. That'll give us an MP5 and we won't run out of, of uh, mana so fast. I maybe should have bought one mana potion. That would have been a decent idea. Now, it's kind of funny because even though Athena doesn't have an ultimate, she is all about that late game. Wow, you're really wanting to steal all the buffs, aren't you? Man, she's a little bit faster than me, so I can't quite use my... my my uh, three and then my two, because that's the way to get the most amount of damage. Maybe some movement speed later on will be nice. If I hit my two here, she dies. I don't know if she realizes that. Bye! She's staying like a little bit too much. Obviously, it was super close for me being dead too, because all she had to do was alt me, but I ulted. I, I mean, I, I CC'd her right before she had the chance to get a good ult on me. Also, nice thing about Athena, her reach does apply to towers, so she actually has a decent amount of objective push, especially once she gets a ton of power. Now, I can't take my blue buff, because that'll take too long, but I can back here. She might take my blue buff, but I got a kill, so... Who's the real winner? She's not getting defense, which means I can skip over Obsidian and I can go straight into Polynomicon, which is amazing. I probably lose my tower here. Hey, that's life. We're gonna lose the tower eventually. She went to go try to take my minis. I already took them. She's probably gonna go to try to take my speed buff. Um, if she doesn't, that would be nice. Okay, cool. We are going to need to start warding Bull Demon because Iznami takes Bull Demon in like two seconds, maybe less. She presses one and she's she becomes a blender. Like, I think even if I have Bull Demon warded, she could take it faster than I can react. So I'm probably going to need to get some wards over here. So I, I need to know when she's taking Bull Demon before she's even taking it. Like right now, red buff's up, right? And if I was a tsunami, I would say, hey, red buff's up, my opponent's gonna go for red buff. But nope, I'm not I'm not like that. That's what I do against people. Easiest Aegis of my life. We still don't have enough cooldown now. All right, we get red buff for free. Pretty good. I I imagine she's gonna get a sentry ward, so I will get a sentry ward as well. We need to take this fast because she might go straight for bull demon. Like if I see her on that ward, I need to cancel my back, but I don't, I don't know. All right, let's do this, get that. All right, and then we'll get blink. If she dashes away, I can blink immediately taunt. There's an extremely high chance of me hitting her. And my ward ran out. Oh no. 
No, 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 no. Oh, man. That's what I was talking about. This is Nami seems to be a PV PvE player. Not surprised by that at all. Now we just gotta keep her from keep her from going for my Phoenix. Because she can't take it without minions, but she has no defense, so even if she tries that, pretty sure I'd be able to kill her. Uh yep. Yep. This is why his Nami's are super annoying in duel. Luckily I shred her. Like, she doesn't have defense. Which way do you think she went? Yeah, not that way. Either way, I defended my Phoenix, so I'm pretty happy. Okay, hello. Awesome. She had no idea I was there. Great. Well, with Bull Demon down, that means she can't do it for another, like, five minutes. Another three minutes is pretty cool. I will get my Polynomicon next. Maybe I go with Typhons with this build. I have a lot of uh, life still. That'd be great. Give me a lot of power for Polly. It's back. Plus, you know, just life still in general. Now, I will keep this ward. Probably place it around here ish or there ish. She stole my speed buff. Not surprised. Here's the question, can she take my bolt my Titan I mean my Phoenix without without any defense? And that horrific. But you need defense! You need defense, I hate to tell ya. Wing blade might be of consideration because uh she has her too. Also, did I level up my ult? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm not supposed to level up my ult until after level 15. Even then, you're not supposed to level it because you might accidentally use it in a fight. Uh, but I level it anyways because people get annoyed at the flashing. <laughs> so I have one less point in my one than I should. And that's my mistake. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's hilarious because sometimes I'll play Athena and play Conquest. And I won't level her ultimate because I'm so used to not leveling it because I play her in duel so much. It's awful. Now, I don't know if I can back because that would mean that she would get pulled even. Uh-oh. We're not doing good in this fight. We're not doing good at all. Alright, she's going for wave, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Typhons. That gives Pan as well, even though she doesn't have defense. She is gonna take oh never mind. I was gonna say she is gonna get a Ooh, look at what Polly does. Ha ha ha. She is probably gonna take my Oh really? Okay. Whoop. I don't know where she went. I'm thinking she turned around. Ha ha ha! If anything, that's good because now her respawn timer is a, a few seconds longer. I wonder if I'll uh, I'll be able to take her Phoenix because that because that allowed my minions to walk more, rather than if I would have killed her right away. <laughs> kind of funny to think about. Get the ball shot in Phoenix. Every single reach shot and poly shot, I want to be hit on the Phoenix. 
Look how much that does. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so much damage. Bye! Oh, I love Polynomicon on Athena. So much damage. I have a lot of life still, too. Which is, like, awesome. How much is Poly by any chance? Oh, 75% power. Oh, I should have checked that at the beginning of the game when I said the wrong amount. So, 75 plus 15%. That is 90% of my physical, I mean, my magical power is dealt to her via, via Polly. I want her to think I don't see her. I want her to think I don't see her. So that, so now we know she's kind of a backdoor type as well. I should wanted to, I should have tried to keep her there even longer because I have fire minions. Those fire minions would have destroyed her titan. That would have been hilarious if we were both just sitting there. I should have done mind games. I should have messaged her and she would have thought I was standing still because I was messaging her. Should have done all of that. Okay, we have vision on her so we don't need to be worried. Just in case she was there. Oh my god, look at that damage. Look at that damage! I missed my poly shot, but still! Poly 749! Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> I was scared there. I was like, I do not have that much defense. Hey, can I heal with full health with this build? 609 power. I love Typhons, man. They better not nerf it. Can I heal to full health really fast? I want to see how much Poly does. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So Athena seems pretty good. That was a diamond Izanami. I'm pretty sure Izanami should win that matchup too. Uh, yeah, so I I, I want to be playing more Athena because I miss playing her. So some of my favorite gods have gotten worse, but some of my other favorite gods have gotten better. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, just it seems like having mobility is extraordinarily important on this map. That, that seems to be the big key. Like, if you don't have a jump, you gotta build movement speed. It's kind of weird. Anyways, GG, well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll probably be streaming if you want to check out, um, check out my Twitch. And yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Adios.